Hello again, watch friends. Welcome back. Watch Buys is an online German watch retailer that sells a variety of brands. Those brands include Hanhart, Young Hands, Nomos, Zinn, Dornbluth and Sohn, Fortis, Benziger One, Jochen Benziger, Jaeger and Benziger, Stefan Kudica, and Thomas Ninkritz. Watch Buys is the official North American distributor and partner for all the brands that I mentioned. They specialize in German watches, like I said, uh, some of which, actually many of which, are not available other than on their website. Several times a year, Watch Buys does a traveling road show. And they've been to several cities so far this year. They've been to Los Angeles, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., and most recently, New York City. And I just came back from the New York City road show. I had been to one of their road shows about a year and a half ago, also in New York. And I wanted to just do a quick video showing some of the uh, watches that they uh, shown at the road show and talk about the watches, their availability, how they fit into the big picture of affordable watches. And I want to end up with some of their special watches, more of the high-end stuff. And we'll get to that toward the end. So, in any case, it was a chilly but very nice fall day in the city today. Uh, the president was in town. And I was able to, prior to visiting the Watch Buys Roadshow, which was at a hotel uh, down near uh, Grand Central Terminal on 42nd Street. Uh, as I often do when I'm in a city, I visit a number of watch uh, boutiques, most of which are on uh, Madison Avenue. So I had a nice brisk walk all the way up to 68th Street, Madison Avenue, starting with A. Langa and Soon. But interestingly, after I visited several watch boutiques on the way back down, there was police presence at every intersection on Madison Avenue from about 65th Street down to 45th Street. In fact, about, I think it was 61st Street, there were two large New York sanitation dump trucks blocking the road between Madison Avenue and Fifth Avenue because as many of you might already know on Fifth Avenue around 61st Street is where Trump Tower is so anyway I made my way downtown uh, from way up on Madison Avenue made it to the hotel next to Grand Central Terminal and here's what I'd like to share with you from Watch Buys So, Watch Buys were showing uh, several brands at the uh, road show. The brands included Sin, Fortis, Young Hands, and Hanhart. There were also uh, several uh, higher end watch brands, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. But basically, there were several dozen watches, primarily from Sin. There were some, maybe a half dozen Fortis, maybe a dozen Hanhart, and a half dozen or so Young Hands.
Sin was founded in 1956 by Helmut Sin. Many private watches and chronographs were produced at the time, and they were offered through direct sales. In September 1994, Helmut Sin sold his company to Lothar Schmidt, a former IWC staff engineer. Sin is noted for introducing uh, new inventions and new technologies, some of which include equipping their watches uh, filled with argon gas, which improved their maintenance intervals, increased the maintenance intervals. Uh, they've also had uh, dehumidifying technologies by means of a copper sulfate capsule, which absorbs the humidity occurring in the case and actually signals the saturation level of the capsule by a color change on capsule. Some of the uh, quartz models that Sin came out with uh, were equipped with silicone oil. These are especially the dive watches that they had and this helped withstand the high external pressure uh, that acted on the watch at uh, greater depths. In addition, the filling of the uh, silicon oil uh, provided a better readability of the dial underwater because it avoided the reflections that often occur when you look at the dial of a watch. Sin also uh, did work in the field of magnetic field protection and scratch resistance of case materials. They have their trademark tegmentation is a stronger material and it's actually to harden steel. Uh, they also have, uh, they're known for their range of EZM series watches. I won't try and pronounce the German word, but basically it's mission timers that are meant for police, fire brigades, rescue services, and the like. Newer models from Sin, like the U1000 and Divers Chronograph, uh, also had the Tegmented submarine steel, again a, uh, a stronger uh, steel used in the watch case. And Sin's collections include pilot watches, dive watches, what they call car drivers watches, and Frankfurt Financial District watches. One of the interesting models that Sin has is the 903 and this is uh, what's known as the Breitling Navitimer uh, look-alike. In uh, 1978, like many other Swiss watch companies, Breitling found it difficult to compete against the Asian quartz onslaught. So the original Breitling company was dissolved and the remaining workforce was laid off. As a result, the company was no longer controlled by a member of the original Breitling family. The Navitimer and Breitling names and the remaining partly assembled watches and watch parts were sold off during that liquidation. Ernest Schneider, owner of Sakura Watch Company, bought the rights to the Navitimer in 1979, to the name Navitimer. The parts and partly assembled watches were bought by, among others, Zinn and Olick and Wash, who continued to assemble them. Zinn further developed the watch, but wasn't allowed to use either the Navitimer name or the Breitling name, since those were now owned by Ernest Schneider. Ernest Schneider's new Breitling company relocated and resumed production in Gretchen, Switzerland, and reintroduced models like the venerable Navitimer, and relying extensively on Valju 7750 movements. Later, Breitling introduced their own movements for the Navitimer. Hanhart was founded by Johann Adolf Hanhart in 1882 in Switzerland. In 1902, he moved his company to the Black Forest in Germany. By the 1920s, Hanhart was focusing on mechanical stopwatches 
bringing their first low-cost stopwatch to the market in 1924. 1938, Hanhart developed the first mono pusher chronograph, and in 1939, they began producing their first pilot's chronograph called the Techie Tela, a two pusher model chronograph. Hanhart likes to refer to themselves as German engineering, Swiss made, uh, and they've been saying that since 2009 because their premises are still in Germany, but the watches are made in Switzerland. Interestingly, if you look at this particular model of a pilot's watch, you can see that there's a rivet on both sides of the watch strap. This uh, takes back uh, to the time when, in the 1930s and 40s, when these watches were first produced, the spring bar was part of the watch case itself and if the strap needed to be replaced for any reason you'd have to cut the strap off and the only way to put a new strap on was to use a rivet to attach the strap to the watch. Young Hands was founded in 1861 by Erhard Young Hands along with his brother-in-law Jacob Zeller Tobler. By 1886, Young Hands started producing pocket watches, and by eight, the late 1890s, they were one of the largest watch producers in Germany. In fact, in 1903, they became the largest watch factory with over 3,000 employees and selling more than 3 million watches annually. In 1928, the production of wristwatches started, initially with movements from Rula, but by 1930, they were producing their own caliber. In 1946, Young Ants had their first wristwatch chronograph movement, and from 1957 to 1962, the Swiss artist, or German artist, Max Bill, created for young hands wall clocks, wrist watches, table clocks using the famous Bauhaus design. And several of those watch styles have been recreated by young hands are being sold now. In 2009, local entrepreneur Dr. Hans Joachim Steim and his son Hans Steim took over the company. Both of the Steims came from a long tradition of watchmaking uh, for the last hundred years before that because they had a company that produced precision watch springs and since 1930 they were producing Niverox hair springs for mechanical movements. Fortis was founded in 1912 by Walter Vogt, together with Alfred Ruthley and Gretchen. A short time later, Vogt, who had been trained as a watchmaker in Beale and had worked for Eterna, acquired the company as the sole owner. 1926, as the world's first watch factory for Fortis, they produced their automatic winding wristwatch invented by John Harwood and today the brands of Fortis and Harwood uh, are still available. In 1990 the German Petter Petter took the fate of the brand in hand and since then uh, his family has managed the firm. Fortis is characterized by several things. One is the dials are mostly black with bright white numerals, clean cut indices, bright white hands and makes them very striking and easy to read. Also very very functional. From 1994 on Fortis became the official watch supplier 
of the Russian Cosmonaut Training Center. And you can see that aesthetic in several of their watches. In fact, there are several Fortis watches that are called Cosmographs. So Fortis makes space watches, pilots watches, and dive watches. In addition to the mainstream brands that WatchBuys was showing, they also had a number of higher-end watches that were simply amazing. These were from several watch brands, one of which was Jokan Benziger. Another one was from Stefan Kudoka, or Kudoka. And the movements, the finishing, were just incredible, as you can see in some of these pictures. Uh, I could stare at these movements for a long time. They're just so well executed, so well finished. Many, many of them, several of them, were are handmade, hand finished, and they're from small companies that most people probably haven't heard of outside of Germany. So Benziger, Kudoka, uh, Dornbluth, and Sohn was another brand. Uh, these are all, all excellent watches and definitely brands that you should check out if you get the chance. Incredible dial work, incredible case work, and movements, and hand finishing. So that wraps up the Watch Buys Roadshow that I visited in New York City. Despite the traffic, despite the crowds, it was really worth attending. And I highly recommend that you go to the Watch Buys website, sign up for their road shows. Uh, like I said earlier, they do these all across the country throughout the year. And it's really the only way for many of these brands to get some hands-on experience with the watches. And if you're a watch collector or a watch enthusiast, you already know that many times pictures don't do a watch service. You have to actually fondle the piece and have the watch in hand to get a true appreciation. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.